Skydance New Media recently showed off the first trailer for their upcoming game, Marvel 1943 Rise of Hydra. Now, before I react to the trailer, I just want to state one thing up front. I'm not going to talk about how great the graphics look over and over again. Yes, the graphic fidelity in the trailer looks absolutely phenomenal. I just don't want to repeat that throughout the entire video. Plus, let's be real, by the time the game comes out, it'll probably get a downgrade. But anyways, with that out of the way, let's jump into it. They're combing the streets. Searching house to house. If they arrest you two, they will take you to their headquarters and you will not return. I'm more concerned with a six-foot cat man who's got claws that can cut through vibranium alloy. All right, I have some things to discuss. I have some positives and some criticism already, but let's start with the positives. I love how they talk about Hydra patrols as if they're actually threatening. When she's warning him not to get caught as if that could be a danger to Captain America, that's incredible. Why he does have some extraordinary feats of strength under his belt, like benching 1100 pounds or throwing his shield so hard it cuts right through a tank, he's not unstoppable. If he runs in to a patrol and they're packing some heat, they could potentially take him out. After all, it was a mere sniper that once killed him. Secondly, I think the voice actor did a great job nailing the role. I love that he sounds younger. After all, this is more of a green version of Cap. It's set in a much earlier time period. Basically, this is the era where the legend and legacy of Captain America is made. That being said, I do have some criticisms. Basically, the look of Captain America. For starters, he looks like John Walker from the Falcon and Winter Soldier TV show. Like, okay? Secondly, I know I'm gonna be a minority on this one, but I really wish he had the kite shield, not the round one. Yes, I know his iconic shield is what he's most known for. However, since this is an earlier story, the kite shield would be a much better fit. I would much rather see him look more like this instead of what they showed. Plus, there's one other major reason I wish he had the kite shield that I will go into later in the video. But let's keep watching the trailer. By my count, that makes two super soldiers loose in Paris. Three, counting you. And that's two too many. I'll be there before the sun rises, before the Germans, before that American. The eye of force has been found. All right, so let's start with the most obvious thing they talked about in this section of the trailer, and that is that there's going to be another super soldier in the game. Yes, it's not just about Cap and Black Panther. And I already know that most people are going to want that third character to be Wolverine. Which would make total sense. After all, Logan did fight in World War II, and he was even part of the Helen Commandos. In fact, they already have a Helen Commando in the trailer, and I hope you guys caught that Easter egg. But let's say Wolverine is in it. That would be incredible because it could lead to other Helen Commandos possibly making an appearance. Like maybe we'll see Nick Fury. So if the third character turns out to be Wolverine, I really hope that they stick with the bone claws. I love the look of his bone claws. They're more gritty, more violent, more brutal. It's just fantastic. Plus, it really wouldn't make sense for him to have his animantium claws in World War II. Though personally, I'm gonna be honest, I don't think Wolverine is the third character. I see the third character definitely being a villain and most likely being the Red Skull. But now, let's talk about the Black Panther. So, right up front, just to clear the confusion, this is not T'Challa. This is his grandfather, Azuri. And I think they absolutely killed it. I love the fact they brought his cape back. I love the blend of the yellow and black. In my opinion, they absolutely nailed the costume. Not only that, but the voice actor stole the trailer. He stole the show. In my opinion, he captured that sense of royalty, which is extremely important when it comes to a character like this. Now, another cool key point mentioned in the trailer is they brought up the Eye of Force. 
and hold on to your hats because we're gonna go down a rabbit hole. So, in the comic books, Doctor Strange wears the Eye of Agamotto. However, it's actually called the Eye of Truth. So why is it called the Eye of Agamotto? Well, let me explain. Agamotto was the first Sorcerer Supreme, and he actually crafted three different eyes. So there's the Eye of Truth, the Eye of Prescience, and the Eye of Power. So why Force is technically not one of the eyes, I can easily see Force kind of representing power. The Eye of Truth is passed down to each Sorcerer Supreme, which is why it got the title Eye of Agamotto. The other two eyes kind of have been lost. So it'd be incredibly cool if in this story arc, is centered around one of the eyes of Agamotto. Yes, I know it's a rabbit hole and I'm grasping at straws, but I think it would make for such an excellent story and it could help us dive into some Doctor Strange lore. But enough of that speculation, let's move on and see what else we could discover in this trailer. Please, just stick to the rooftops. Be careful, stand by me. When am I not? It's better if I tackle this one alone. You may encounter some obstacles. That won't be a problem. Our cat friend is definitely here too. By the look of things, he's not very far ahead. The American boy is right on your heels. Who the hell are you? If you wanted us dead, we'd be dead. So what do you want? Answers. That's far enough! Stay out of my way! Stand aside! I do not take orders from anyone! I don't have time for this. Neither do I. All right, seeing the characters interact on that bridge was incredible. Plus, I really hope we get a playable fight between Black Panther and Captain America. By the way, who do you think would win in hand-to-hand -hand combat between these two? Personally, I am a massive Captain America fan, so I gotta side with him but let me know if you agree or disagree in the comments. Now, let's get back to the shield. So I mentioned before, I had another major reason I wish Cap had the kite shield, and this is due to the comic book, Flags of Our Fathers. So in this comic book, Black Panther actually has a shield. Yes, Panther has other weapons besides just his claws. Shocker, I know. So towards the end of the comic book, Red Skull gets in a giant mech and he's raining down hell on fellow American soldiers, but also Wakanda herself. Now, Black Panther is holding a Wakanda shield and he actually hands it to Steve Rogers so Cap could throw the shield and destroy the robot. It's such an epic scene. Afterwards, the Black Panther offers the shield to Cap to keep. And while he does turn it down, he takes inspiration for it in the next design of his shield, which becomes the iconic look that we all know today. Yet, if we already have the shield in the game before they even meet, it's such a missed opportunity in storytelling. In my opinion, it's such a great moment between the King of Wakanda and Steve Rogers. But I would love to hear what you guys think. Do you prefer Captain America or Black Panther? What did you think of the trailer? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you made it this far and did enjoy the video, let me know by dropping a like. And if you are new, please consider subscribing. As for me, I got a ton of work to do, so I'm gonna get back to the grind and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.